Welcome to Transport Fever 2, guys. We are going to be playing the Spring Update, which is coming out on the 10th of May in full release. We are playing the beta test at the moment, and I can't wait to get into this. So, uh, yeah, a uh, quick word of warning. Uh, crashes, bugs, stuff can happen, and the game can change on the final release, and that's fine. Now, what's coming? Uh, new challenges and optional gameplay elements. Towns now require additional types of goods as their population increases. New industries can now spawn on the map during the game. Unconnected industries can now disappear from the map after a while. That's really cool. So if you're not using something, it'll just go away and maybe pop up somewhere else. That is very, very cool. That is very, very cool. I really like that. Uh, more control over road and ship lines. The preferred lane can now be selected for road waypoints. Awesome. Buoys can now be used as waypoints for ship lines. Awesome. All right. Better cargo and passenger management. Alternative terminals can now be configured for all line stops. Terminal cargo capacity can now be expanded across stations using modular buildings. The loading and unloading time will now be extended if the platform length is not sufficient for the train. So basically what that means is you can increase the capacity of a station by putting in modular buildings on the sides, uh, but doing that will increase the loading and unloading time because if it goes over capacity, which is also really cool because you, you can store more stuff, but your trains will have to be at the stations longer time if it's not already on the platform. I think that's a really cool idea. Uh, more fun and options. The vehicle horn can be triggered now in the cockpit camera. The new, new advanced game options allow now customization of financial and town growth factors. Whistle posts can now be placed along the rail to trigger the trail train horn. Woot woot! Custom colors can now be defined in the color palette for the lines and vehicles. That's really cool as well. The color thing, I'm colorblind, so I'll probably choose the most horrible colors in the world and you'll just have to live with it. I'm sorry. Or you can help me in the comments by suggesting uh, hex colors or something like that that I can use for the lines. Uh, that will be very appreciated because colors, as mentioned, are really not my strong suit. All right, improved modding support. Save and load, load now a list of mods, including their configuration. Improves usability and functionality for the model editor. Very cool for the modders. And we love the modders because they change the game and, and add variants to the game. I, I really love mods in this game. But this playthrough is going to be uh, completely vanilla. Uh, many other improvements. Based on player feedback, many other improvements, bug and fixes, uh, and additions have been implemented. For example, the HUD icon filters are stored persistently. That is awesome. We can turn off the the income uh, expenditure uh, things that pop up on the screen all the time and cause lag. We can just turn that off, and next time we load the game, it's the same and that is fantastic it doesn't matter so much for you uh, but it matters a lot for me because i always forget to do it and have to do it when I, while i'm recording uh, the release notes show in detail what has been improved so i encourage you if you want to go and take a look go check out the release notes for the spring update which we are jumping into right now and the first thing we're going to do, of course, is to set up our our map, and we'll be right back doing that. All right, uh, let's set up our game. We're going to go a free game. We're definitely not going tiny. We are going megalomaniac. And uh, one to three, I don't know. No, let's do one to two. Let's do one to two. Uh, towns, uh, high, industries, medium, let's go with that. We'll go with a dry climate, and we're playing in the, in the US. 
We're playing in the US. Uh, I don't really like the look of that map. There are a lot of rivers here. I kind of like that. Let's see what this looks like. Come on, generate it. Generate the map. This looks kind of decent. This looks kind of decent. So let's go with this. Uh, I think I'll reduce forest a bit because a lot of trees generate a bit of lag. Uh, ridges, mesas, canyons is fine. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I like this. I think I like this. Uh, we have some waterways. We have quite a bit of towns. We have a lot of industries. I, I like the look of it. We'll start in 1850, and the income difficulty is going to be very hard because we are jumping into a very hard game, and we are going to do what I think I've heard uh, some other YouTuber, I think it was Skystorm, uh, who called it an uh, epic uh, challenge. Every product to every city. I'd probably call it an APEC channel, all products to every city, but uh, the APEC challenge it is. We are going to be playing in the USA. I want USA. Why can't I choose USA? Uh, hmm. Uh, there shouldn't be any mods. There should not be any mods. We do not want mods, so we are going to turn all of those off. Give me just a second. All right, I only had to turn off around uh, 130 mods or something like that, uh, but that's fine. Um, I don't know why I can't choose which vehicles, but it doesn't really matter. We will use all the vehicles if that's what we have uh, access to. We'll use a town, town cargo demand of up to six, so they will demand six different types of cargo which I think is very cool. Uh, and the industry closure frequency will be, let's do sometimes, sometimes they'll close. And industry density target will be high. Nah, let, let, let's leave it at medium. Hopefully medium will allow us to, to feed all our towns with, with what they need. And let's go ahead and jump into the game. Whoop. All right, guys, here's the map. And it's a pretty cool map. As we know, it's huge because it's a megalomaniac map, which I love. Uh, and it's really, really nice. I like the plateaus here. Like there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, it's it's really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, so I had a quick look around myself uh, first. Well, I've had many quick look around clicks around because, quite frankly, it's really really hard to make money on very hard. It's uh, it's ordering on the impossible to make money on very hard. Uh, but I think I have found. A nice little place to start down here in Vancouver. Vancouver wants tools. It wants 80 of them, which is a really nice high demand to start with. Uh, so if we take a look at Amarillo, for instance, wants 50, 51. If we go somewhere else to a smaller city, 30, 30, Hollywood, 20, 20. Uh, there are a lot of towns that don't want that much stuff. I mean, here we're below 20, right? So uh, a demand of 80 tools to begin with is really nice, especially since we have uh, a forest here, we have a sawmill here, and we have a tools factory here. So a nice little train line going here, I think will do the trick. 
And we have another forest over here, which we'll put, we'll, we'll build a bridge across here and, and send uh, logs from over here as well, because we need, uh, plank production is a two to one. Uh, so, so we need uh, twice as many planks as we need, uh, or twice as many logs as we need planks. So let's get started. Uh, I am going to put a road in here. I think not that long, because that's expensive. <laughs> you really oh, uh, play ownership new. No. Let's. Uh, refund that and put in a new road because I really don't want player ownership as in really really because I think it costs us maintenance when we own the road so there then we need to come across here um, I think I'll simply, uh, I will, I'll pull a road out here and hopefully because I have said player ownership, no, these roads won't cost us maintenance because if they do, we're probably screwed. And let's come across on a bridge here. That's going to be expensive but it kind of is what it is uh, apparently we can't do it from that low down so let's pull back a little bit and try and come across we still have a collision but if we go up a bit well now we're not colliding but we don't want to go up that high um so what if we build a bridge here first? 1.3 million for that little bridge? Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, let's do just like that. And then come across and we do not want to go up for that. And then come down. It was expensive still, but that's just the way it is. We, we're going to be spending a little bit of money here in the beginning. And it's it's not great, uh, to, to be quite honest. Because the more money we spend, the bigger a loan we have. Let's put you in like that. So that's that road done. Then we need... Let's put in our rail buildings here. Uh, now I want two trains on this. And I think we'll put this in here. And I know that it digs in to... The terrain, but there's really nothing... I can do about that. So we put you in there. Then we want. Oh, and dang it. Can I get a refund? I can. Uh, because I do not want it to be 160. I want it to be 120. We really don't need it to be 160. So we put it in like that instead. And then we'll... Ah, ah, ah. I am wasting money left and right here. I really hope it doesn't come back and bite us in the ass. Uh, so we want just one terminal here. But for the next one, we want two. And we want it to be... Ronky. Um, I want it to be over here somewhere. Uh, let's say here. 
let's put it in there and then just want a one terminus thing here and we want it uh, something like this I think that's fine uh, we'll make sure that they're all connected up by roads uh, all right that works and you need to be connected up by road kind of come over here and connect up And hopefully you catch that, yes. You catch that, yes. And you catch that, yes. Okay. We're off to a start. Uh, so this basically needs to come in here. This is going to be expensive and it's going to dig a trench and lift that up and so on. But it's the way it's going to have to be. Because we want as little up and down as we can get. So that's the way it's going. Look at that. Let's delete this road for a second. We will take a little bit of up and down here I guess uh, like that and then in here we want to double track at least for a little bit So that we do that and that we do this so that we can cross that'll work and then we'll put in that street again because there's a complaint from the city council so we'll put that street in again Okay, so that's the rail line set up. Then we need some uh, some truck stops. Um, let's just make sure that we have the right thing. We'll make them 20 meters long, I think. And we will put in a truck stop down here. Like so. We just need a drop off point here. So let's just make a drop off point there. And then we need a truck stop up here. Now, that does not reach that. So we need to put in a little street here. which will hopefully reach. Like that. And we'll put you in up here. There seems good. And then, last thing, a drop-off point in town. And here seems good. We catch everything that wants tools. All right. Now, I did promise to come up with some naming conventions, and I have. Uh, I, I don't know if they're any good, but they're naming conventions. So, they will be. This line will be CRG cargo um, uh, lo 
logs. No, uh, plank. Uh, production. Uh, van for Vancouver. And truck. So we're producing planks. Uh, we're traveling by truck. We'll go here. To here to here and back again and this will be cargo uh, tool production Vancouver rail okay and then the last new line from there to there and this will be cargo tool Delivery, Vancouver, truck. That's going to be our naming convention. All right. And if it's a passenger line, then it will be instead of CRG for cargo, and then it'll be PAX for passengers, because PAX is how we call uh, passengers in the airline industry. So I'm very used to using that word. Um, all right. Uh, we do need a couple more things. We need a road depot, which I think we'll put in over here for, was there just, did I just see 13 something? Yeah, I did. And then we need a rail depot, which we'll put in. I think down where, where can we put it in I guess we'll put it in here that's probably fine let's try and line it up is that lined up more or less I think that's lined up so you come in there and we'll connect you up by track here. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So we have our lines. We just need to buy some vehicles now. Uh, and we're going to need to borrow a little bit of more money for that. I think probably something like that. Because I want two trains here. Uh, so, uh, buy vehicles, uh, steam trains, because that's all there is, and there's only the Baldwin six-wheeler, which is uh, quite honestly terrible, but it'll have to do, and we'll give it a capacity of 56, and we'll get two of them, and stick you on that that leaves us with half a mil so we probably need to borrow more money uh, but for this line we want the american horse-drawn carriage we want 15 of them okay we definitely need to borrow half a mil more and we'll put that on the plank production uh borrow half a mil more and for the delivery we want the horse drawn carriage as well and we probably want 10. Uh, delivery let's go let loose our new vehicles let's take a look at the train it's a weird looking train with spindly insects, insect eyes, but it's ours and it will, God, God willing, make money. And it got a nearly full load there, which is great. Oh, we do need to put in a couple of signals. Um, signals, we need a signal. Um, I suppose a signal coming out here and a signal coming out here. 
and that should be fine. And are we on the correct uh, side? Yeah, no, we 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 we're not. We're not. Uh, so we'll turn you into a one way, and we'll turn you into a one way. Um, let's see. So you're you're gonna come down and block. So I really need you. come over on this side and let's just take a quick look at this line now so we're going up there uh, it's this that's the problem uh, we want this to be on terminal one and then Why can't you go down? Oh, there's a little uh, snafu there. The rail tracks. That's better. And we have that so that you can get over there. This should fix it. Uh, let's turn you around. there and we want um pause just a second so line management uh, uh planks to trucks we want uh, in vancouver south we want a full load wait forever and on the train line in Vancouver West, we want a full load. Okay, and for the delivery trucks, we want in Vancouver Halt uh, a full load. Wait forever. Go. So that saves a bit of money on maintenance. Now, hopefully, this bit of track will allow our trains to pass each other without having to wait. That's the that's the idea, anyway. All right, so we have our trains. We have our horses. Uh, let's slow down a little bit. Uh, they are very, very, f move their legs very, very fast, very, very fast. Impressive horses that we have. Nice view over the river and beautiful, it's beautiful. Do, 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 do. You have a full load of those. You have unloaded here? Or have you? Doesn't look like you've unloaded anything. But we have some planks sitting here waiting. We'll see if we need to extend this in the middle somehow. Uh, let's bring that up and pin it. Let's bring our money up and see if we'll start making money so i'll let the game run for a bit and see if we start making money when i do let the game run for a bit uh, i will pause the date speed so that we don't come back 25 years later and find out that basically we're in the future um so yeah 
we'll let this run. Hopefully, it'll make money. Um, and hopefully, uh, we'll make money. That's the plan, anyway. That's the plan. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you. No, that's not where we are. We're just taking a little break. We're just taking a little break uh, because we need to see if we actually make money on this. So I'll be right back. Not next time, but this time. Okay, guys, we have actually made money in two of the last three months. Not a lot of money, but money. And put together, it's more than the one year that we lost money. Or the one fiscal thingy that we lost money. So hopefully, we're on the right track. Let's see. I'll let the game run a little bit more. If I get the money to pay off some debt i'll do that uh, i don't know that i will though uh, one thing that has happened is that vancouver now wants uh, machinery and food as well so that's pretty cool uh, so that is one of the new features of the spring update that the cities will want uh, more products and and that is really really cool i, I really like that feature we had it in uh, in a modded way, but now it's in the base game, and I really, really appreciate that. But yeah, I'll let the game run a bit more, and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys. Um, we are making money. Consistently. Not a lot of money every month. Some A few months in between are kind of break-even, but for the most part, we are making money and that is great news so i think we're going to call this episode here i'll let the game run a bit we, we have also cleared a bit of debt uh, about a million i've cleared in debt and i'm going to clear some more in between episodes just by letting the game run like this and we'll uh, come back and find somewhere else to set up a new line uh, because this one line, obviously, well, one circle thing really isn't going to cut it in the long run. But for right now, we are making a profit. It's been rough. I think the game has probably been running for around three hours. <laughs> three hours or so. I've just had the game running. I've just had the game running. To, to start making some money making a little tweak here and there adding a truck removing a truck trying to get the the ratios right or the rates right and i think we've pretty much hit a, a good rate so we're delivering 117 uh, tools vancouver needs 115 so that's pretty decent that's pretty decent but the key thing to take away from this is you really need trains because the trains are obviously what make us money. The road vehicles don't make a whole lot. <laughs> they make a little bit, but not a lot. And basically you need your trains to be carrying goods in both directions. If they're not carrying goods, picking up, care, dropping off in both directions, then you're screwed. So yeah, uh, oh, we had another good month. Uh, that's the best month ever, I think. Seventy-four thousand, or fiscal thingy, not month, uh, fiscal thingy. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, that is really what it's all about. Oh, and we can repay another half a mil. Oh, we could repay a half a mil. <laughs> it disappeared before I had the chance to click dang it uh, but i will be re repaying back so we have i think a maximum of one million uh, loan when we come back in the ne next episode so the game will be running for quite a while repaying debts and uh, 
basically increasing our income by repaying the debts because the debts are really what's costing us. The debts are what's costing us. Uh, if we didn't have the debts, we would be doing 150,000 a month or a fiscal thingy. And that would be reasonable, I think. That would be reasonable. Oh, repay. Yay, another half mil repaid. So that's a little bit more income again uh, as things take over. So, uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're excited for uh, the EPEC challenge on the spring update with really cool new features. And uh, I hope you'll join me again in the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.